So the other thing that we're going to talk about, it was, how do you do a Bible? And what you put into your series Bible, again, is, is you could just say, what would be needed to create a series Bible for my new thriller series? So you can specifically ask, for what is necessary for your particular genre. And by the way, each genre has slightly different things, slightly different requirements. And you're probably gonna to wanna to ask this question a couple of different ways. And if you, you see anything that either doesn't make any sense to you or that you, that you want to ignore, you can not include those. Or you can ask the question multiple times and see if you get the same response. One of the other fun things to always say is there any other information that is needed? One of the things to do with these things when you're interviewing is generally ask follow-up questions. You know, we're going to come up with this one. So I'll ask this follow-up question. Let's see what it says for the thrillers. It says overall long line, series long line, series synopsis. Describe the world which your series takes place, even if it's set on a modern day earth and needs some specific aspects that are crucial to the story. Locations, provide the locations. Characters, main characters, background, personal traits, relationship arcs of things, supported characters, antagonists, plots, season, the plot, the season and book summaries, episodes, chapter breakdowns, major arcs, subplots. If you're starting something brand new and you don't have anything at all, it, it's worthwhile to determine what you want to write, uh, do the keyword research, do the, if you got to do write to market, do some market research to find out what you want to do. Grab some examples. If you can get some series summaries or book summaries by scraping them off of the book descriptions in Goodreads or Amazon. And then also do your research to find out what you want to do. If you're a pantser and you have a bloody good idea, then go ahead and just write the first book or two. When you run out of bloody good ideas, that's when you can go back and analyze the individual books and then pull those things together and say, what's the common threads? What's, what, is, what pulls these things together? And then, then ask it for su some suggestions. You can also use this, the same methodology that Pseudorite uses for story engine, which is brain dump. You could actually just dump a whole bunch of information in, in, into, into one of the chat engines. And you can say, I'm a fiction writer. I want to write a story that is based off of some X, Y, and Z ideas. And I want to create a series based off of this. But can you tell me what's necessary? So you can say, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm a fiction writer. I want to write a series. I need to create a series Bible for this series so that I, as a writing guide, my, what I want to include are, and then just your know, brain dump and then say, then you can say, what can you create an initial Bible for me? In fact, we can even do that. So I'm going to put this into typing mind because typing mind will be a fun place to do this. I'm going to have a new chat and I'm going to come over here to my character selection. I'm going to create a new character and I'm going to call the Disney uh, series, series Bible creator. Do throw that whole thing in there and just click save. There we go. So now I have my series Bible creator. Now the series Bible creator needs something that can actually take the entire book. So you can either create your Bibles one chapter at a time if for smaller context windows, or you can feed it the entire book. If you take the 16K token, uh, 16K tokens will be about 12,000 words, which I'm gonna use my smaller book for this. All right, so this very first book is purposely fairly short. It's only 12,000 words, so it should fit into the context. And then before I actually run that, let's just come over here. I do want the temperature set fairly low. I'm going to get rid of the frequency penalty because I want it to use, I want it to not be limited by what it's saying because the series Bible will have a lot of repetition in it. 
and the presence penalties, all that. So this all looks good. I'm going to apply that and I'm going to hit send. I need to go to playground. So I have, and the reason I have to go to playground is I need the larger context window. With the main chat window, I can't possibly paste in as much as I wanted to consider. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to, I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to put in, I'm going to put in just the top portion of this, which is that it's meticulous literary analyst, deep understanding, stuff like this. And, he, and then we can go over here and say, I'm a fiction writer. I want to write a series of books based on the 19th pulp fiction detective genre. What would be needed for this genre in a series Bible as to be used as a writing guide? And I'm going to set the maximum length up to that one. I, again, I'm going to keep the temperature fairly low. I'm going to bump it up just a little bit, 0.8. And I'm going to go. So this is where I'm going to prime the prompt by saying what I want to write, because if, you, if you've already passed through it, you've got that. Okay, time to go to Claude. So I'm going to take this, go over to Claude. Yeah, starting chat. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to yeah. So there we go. So I'm going to do that. Yeah, and then I'm going to say, think. So essentially prime the pump, prime the pump with Claude. Let's see how different it is. Concept, world building, characters, plot, structure, story, subplots, motifs. Okay. Main character, supported characters, plot conventions. It's not far off. And that's actually not very surprising. And then I can come back over here. I can go like this. And then I come down here. This one. Copy. Now I'll just paste that into there and it's going to turn into a text file, but that's okay. So that's the same exact prompt. So I'm basically saying, okay, based on the above, please read my manuscript and give me a series Bible. So. Now it's filled out. We have setting, main character. It actually picked out detective, muscular, dark character, chairman, drinking, brawler, a bit of a rebel. Father Gregory, LeVon, Lady Rollins, Deputy Chief Dawkins, Agent David Singleton, Dr. Russell, Count Von Reich. Yes, actually, that's true. I forgot about that character. Cases dealing with, so here it's actually... Gone fairly generic. Ethan takes on cases dealing with unusual crimes, thefts, missing items, persons, underworld dealings, investigates crime scenes, fights against gangsters, corrupt officials, smugglers, hypnotists, foreign agent, hypnotist, the green lady is a hypnotist. Themes, justice versus virtue, tone, hardball, detectives, that's just that. That's a great way to get If you started. enjoyed today's lab, I'm going to say thank you very much for coming all the way to the end of this video. I really appreciate your time and I appreciate that you've given it to watching this video and we'll go through the lab. This is a fairly stereotypical lab for the Future Fiction Academy. We do these things eight times per week, which essentially means they go, we've got a whole bunch of new content that is always constantly changing and they're always done live. If you like this video, please make sure you hit subscribe, ring the bell, ask for notifications, do all the good stuff in life because that supports us without having any kind of any further constraints on you. Also, there'll probably be a link to a video there or there or somewhere around here. There's definitely some, some links in the description down below, because if you like this, come on over to the Future Fiction Academy and see what the whole lab looks like, as well as all of our previous labs. Hope to see you there. Have a fantastic day. Jazz hands.